Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gear2.4 here bringing you another Minecraft World War 1 vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the second part of the Zemeritz armored train. This is going to be going ahead and building one of the very small machine gun cars, which is equipped with a machine gun and also a higher caliber 20mm um, auto cannon. So uh, definitely a uh, you know nice little armored car, has some uh, definitely pack-a-punch capabilities with it with the machine fully rotatable machine gun turret on top and fully rotatable um, 20 millimeter gun on the back there. Definitely gives it some good firepower and um, is basically a very essential part for some small arms and the suppression fire that this uh, train is able to lay down. Now there are two cars um, that are kind of very similar to each other. There's some minor differences mainly revolved around the uh, turret itself that's located on the back. And this right here is going to be the one that's kind of more of a flat top instead of a kind of a curved at the top turret. So this will be car number two for our train and we will be going ahead and basically building it from the ground up and uh, having a nice little design for it. So uh, yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to check out the locomotive tutorial um, to kind of get a good baseline to start building this uh, build with. Uh, obviously, we will, we will be building it as if we're connected it to a locomotive, but you can obviously take this, change the color for it, build it with any other train um, or any other thing that you really want to make your own armor trains. Who knows? Uh, so that's why we're having the separate parts here for these cars so you guys can use them for different pur purposes. Um, anyways, going ahead and jumping into it, I want to go ahead and take a look at the actual car itself and um, you know see what we got going on here for this car in particular. Now, this car right here falls directly right behind the locomotive. Obviously the order doesn't matter too much if you would just want to make this um, your own train, but if you're trying to replicate the one from uh, the actual Zemeritz train, uh, this was how it was positioned. Now you can see here we have this turret right here. It's a pretty uh, tall standing turret, very flat top to it, um, and host a 20 millimeter automatic gun. Um, so definitely a pretty capable gun for the time period to be in the um, early you know, 20th century and uh, armor trains and this new automatic weapons and stuff like that kind of being a new thing really brought into warfare. Um, overall nice train car, it's got a lot of details and stuff like that, little slits here where you can have uh, infantry, small arms fire or something um, come from it and all that stuff. So basically like a little bunker on wheels uh, or on tracks I should say. Um, overall a really cool little train car and this is what we're going to be going ahead and building and attaching it to the back of our locomotive. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the tutorial here by covering the positioning, positioning, but also the track layout that we need for this uh, train car to sit on. Alright guys, going ahead and jumping into the first part of this tutorial, we're going to be going ahead and discussing tracks and track layout for this uh, train car. Now, for the train car itself, you only need about 21 uh, blocks in length of this track design that I have set up in front of you guys. Um, however, I definitely recommend probably going a little bit more than that. Um, if you are building the train in its entirety, I talked about it in the locomotive itself, but you will need 119 um, tracks in length to go ahead and get this thing to uh, sit properly on. So you will definitely need a very long straightaway um, for this train to sit perfectly and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, the track design is very simple. Here's a little small cutout of it as you can see. It's real basic. You just have a spruce wood slab, anvil, row three across, anvil, spruce wood slab, anvil, anvil and then repeat the same pattern. So pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go and dive into that too much as we did in the locomotive um, video, but yeah, pretty straightforward. And that's all we really need to know for tracks. So we're going to be going ahead and connecting it to this car, and I'm going to talk about the spacing and how to make sure we have it all correct and set up perfect so everything connects up right when we get into our first layer. Anyways, that's it for our track layout. Let's go ahead and move into uh, layer number one. All right, guys, jumping into layer one, uh, we're going to be going ahead and getting started with the build. Now, as I mentioned in the locomotive video, uh, we will be swapping out some of the blocks. So you can see here that we have some of the um, original, you know, trap doors, signs, and all that stuff. We're going to be going and switching it over to the uh, newer, um, you know, signs and s stuff that we get with uh, update 1.14. So we're going to be going ahead and basically building um, with those newer blocks and stuff. So if you see some little differences here, don't be too concerned. Uh, we're doing it on purpose. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started with here, uh, we need to make sure our spacing is correct for us to get started with this train. Real simply, I'm going to go ahead and grab some color wool. It stands out. It's very easy for us to tell what we have going on here. And I'm going to go ahead and basically count back from this wheel right here. So from this wheel, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks of space back. We're then going to go ahead and place down two uh, narrow brick ups downstairs, back to back, just like this. So again, we have a row of six from this stair here 
to this stair here, which creates the very tip stair of our wheels. And we're gonna go and go this and do the same thing over here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks back. And we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing just like that. If you are attaching this up to a narrow train car, um, you can also look at where the point of connection is. So the point of connection being right here, uh, you can go ahead and bring a block to the east side here. And we can see that we have three blocks back until the wheels um, kind of come into the um, picture. So we you can also use that to kind of base it off if you're just connecting to the hitch there um, of a another train or something like that. Um, anyways, with that all cleared away, we can go ahead and continue on. Uh, to start off with, we're gonna go and take our dark oak wood trap doors and place down one coming off this uh, stair, go or actually my bad, it's gonna come out to the side here, like this, of the stair, and come forward like this, and we're also gonna place down a narrow brick top sub directly behind it, coming off those stairs. And uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and change this to a stone brick top sub, as I think it will stand out a little better and look kinda better for what we're going for. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and then uh, basically come over from this dark wood or this one dark wood uh, trapdoor and place down a trapdoor like this and same thing over here. And then you just want to take our iron trapdoors and then place down a row of three across the middle here. So just like that. After that's done there, uh, we want to go ahead and take our iron trapdoors and going back from this stone brick top side, we're gonna place down one, two, and three iron trapdoors back and same thing over here, one, two, and three. In the space in between, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of three of stone brick top slabs between these uh, narrow brick stairs. And then coming off this uh, third iron trap door, we're gonna place down a narrow brick top slab going back. Same thing over here. And on the inside here, narrow brick up down stair, narrow brick up down stair, and a stair right behind these two stairs just like this. Uh, we then want to just take down an iron trap door, place it down here on both sides like that, and a row of three of stone brick top slabs across in between these narrow brick stairs. Once that's done, going back from this iron trap door, we're gonna go ahead and go back four more iron trap doors. So one, two, three, and four. Same thing over here. One, two, three, and four. With uh, that all finished there, we're gonna go ahead and continue on. We're gonna place down a another brick top slab to both ends like this, and then come off this another brick top slab on the inside here. We're gonna place down a another brick up down stair on both sides, and then a second another brick up down stair going like that across. And actually. My bad, we're gonna go ahead and swap those narrow brick top subs out for stone brick top subs as I was wanting to change these. And uh, we're gonna go and swap those out for what I wanted. So we're gonna go and swap that out to look something like that. Um, anyways, once that's done, coming back to this point here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and then take our iron trap doors, place down one, two, and three back from that stone brick top sub. Same thing over here, one, two, and three. Uh, we then wanna place down a stone brick top sub again. And coming off the uh, stone brick top, so I'm going to place down a narrow brick up down stair, and a narrow one coming off of it, and same thing over here, stone brick top slab, two narrow brick up down stairs like this, back to back. And uh, one quick change here is I want to move this set of narrow brick up down stairs forward one, so we're going to go and move this one more forward, just like this. So just like that on both sides there, and I'll move that forward just a little bit, save a space of three in between the second and third axle. Now in between these stairs, like we did before, row three of stone brick top subs cross in between the first stairs, just like that, to go ahead and form up our axles. With that done, coming to the back section here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a iron trap door, coming off the stone brick top sub to both sides. We then want to go ahead and, like we did in the front, place down a dark oak wood trap door like this, followed by a row three of iron trap doors, and then a dark oak wood uh, trap door like that to finish that off. And with that all complete, that will set up our basis here for layer number one. As you can see from above, this is what we should have. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff. That right there will complete the layer. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer number two, to go ahead and get started with, we'll be going ahead and going to our front up here and uh, working our way out. So for this to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and placing down an anvil on top of this iron trap door and to both sides of this and we're going to place down a stone brick up down stair. And then a wooden sign come off the sides here of these wooden trap doors. Now coming off the anvil itself, we're going to place down a stone brick slab and it should connect up to this narrow brick slab if you're connected to a train. Or you're going to place down the narrow brick slab and the two skeleton skulls both sides there for the hitch stair that they all connect up to. Once that's done, we're going to place down a piston on its side on these two uh, dark oak wood uh, wooden trap doors. And we then want to place down a cobblestone wall coming off these pistons 
going forward like that. Uh, around the cobblestone wall itself, we're going to go and take some wooden signs and wrap them around like this. And same thing over here, like that. We then want to go ahead and go behind the pistons themselves. And we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some redstone or blocks of redstone. And we're going to be going ahead and placing down a block of redstone between behind these two pistons here on both sides like that to extend these forward um, like that for our bumpers. With that done, in the space in between these pistons, we want to go and grab a green terracotta and place down a row of three across. Once that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and go to the, um, the side here of the redstone blocks. We're going to place down a stone brick block like this. Coming off the side of the stone brick block, we're going to be placing down a tripwire hook on both ends. In the space across in between them, uh, or, or coming off the stone brick block itself, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall there in the middle. And then we want to place down a row of three of or sorry, row five green uh, terracotta going across. When we get to this section here, uh, we're going to do a row of five green terracotta across, followed by a stone brick full block again on both sides with a tripwire hook. Same thing over here, just like that. Uh, once you have that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a hopper. And we're going to go ahead and place down a hopper on top of this iron trap door to both sides and a row three of green concrete across in between the middle there. After that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick block on both ends with, again, a tripwire hook on both ends, a uh, cobblestone wall on top of that stone brick top slab, and a another stone brick block on both ends with a tripwire hook, of course, on the coming off of it. And then in the space in between here, we're just going to fill this in with three rows of five of green terracotta just to close this space off from the bottom. Um, also on the sides here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some iron bars, and we're actually going to go ahead and break this tripwire hook. We're going to place down an iron bar, and then one to both sides like this for a little bit of change to kind of drape down on the side of the train itself. So just a little bit of minor detailing there um, on both sides there. Uh, once that's done, coming back to this section right here, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a uh, hopper that's going to go on both sides like this. We then want to place down a uh, mossy cobblestone wall. Again, on both sides like that and then we just want to go ahead and place down a uh, zombie head that's going to be coming off of this uh, mossy cobblestone wall and a nether hopper on both sides and of course filling the space right here we're going to place this fill the space in with a uh, three rows of five of green terracotta to close the space off from the bottom once that's done uh, we're going to go and basically flip what we did in the front here toward the back here so we're going to go and start to get into placing down a stone brick block both ends, a cobblestone wall, and a, another stone brick block on both ends here. And then coming off these stone brick blocks, we're just going to place down a tripwire hook to both ends. We, uh, we can also go ahead and take our green terracotta, place down three rows of five here, closing this middle section off like so. We're then going to place down a fourth row of five of green terracotta going across here with a hopper on both ends. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. So a stone brick block. Cobblestone wall, stone brick block, stone brick block, cobblestone wall, stone brick block, and trip our hooks on the sides here. Like this, and same thing over here as well. And the space in between these blocks, we're going to go ahead and just take some green terracotta and fill the space in. Just like this. For the uh, bottom there. Uh, with that all done, uh, we want to go ahead and then go toward the back here. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall here in the corners there, followed by a piston, which is going to be coming off of uh, this green terracotta block and same thing over here uh, we then want to go and grab ourselves a block of redstone and behind the pistons we're going to go and replace that green terracotta block with a block of redstone like that to have it come forward and we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a anvil right here we're going to place down an anvil on the back we're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some stone brick stairs so we'll go ahead and just fly to the front here It'll be a little bit easier real quick to grab them and we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair come off these these uh Pistons here to both sides, and then a wooden sign, a dark oak sign coming off the sideways stone brick stairs. So just like that, um, like that. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick uh, slab. And if you plan on connecting this to a narrow train, a narrow brick slab with a, uh, or a wither skeleton skull on both ends. I don't know why it's giving me this so-called achievement, even though I've uh, grabbed wither skeleton skulls before. So that's kind of weird there. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that right there will finish off the back there, and you have uh, all the sides complete. A lot of detailing going on for this layer, but we get a nice basis established. As you can see from up above, this is what we should have. Pretty much the same kind of pattern throughout the entire thing. And from the side, so we have. Anyways, that right there will finish layer 
Number two, with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into layer number three. Layer number three is a lot easier. Um, to go ahead and get started with this layer, though, we're going to go and take our green terracotta, and across the top, the front here, we're just going to place down a row of seven of green terracotta all the way across. Uh, once that's done, we're going to take our stone buttons and place down a row of seven of stone buttons on the side of those green um, terracotta blocks. Once that's done, we're going to place down two or one more row of seven of green terracotta that goes back, so one more row like this. We then want to take iron bars, and on the side of these blocks, we're going to be going and placing down two iron bars, two both ends like that. After that's done, we're going to go and place down two more rows of three of green terracotta across. So one and two, or sorry, two more rows of seven. So we have one and two rows. And we then want to go and grab ourselves some green banners. We're going to place down one and two green banners, and same thing over here, one and two green banners like that. After that's done, we're going to place down two more rows of seven of green terracotta across. So we have one and two and then we're going to go ahead and then place down two iron bars on the sides here so one and two just like that we're going to go ahead and place down there two rows of seven across and this time we're going to place down a uh, set of two green banners on the sides there we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of or sorry th four rows of seven so we have one we have two we have three and we have four. We're going to go and then take stone buttons and place down a row of four of stone buttons along the side here. Same thing over here, row of four stone buttons. After that's done, uh, we're going to take our green terracotta and again place down a row of seven across, followed by a second row of seven. We're going to then take green banners and on these last two rows, place down two green banners. We're going to go ahead and place down uh, again. Uh, rows of seven of green terracottas. So we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, and we have five. And we're going to go and then take green banners and go to the second and third to last rows and place down two green banners here on the sides, just like that. Um, also, for the decking on the inside here, we can swap out uh, the middle section here of these rows on the end by placing in some spruce wood planks here um, instead. And we're going to go and basically make a uh, what is going to be a 5x6 rectangle. So we're going to have a total of six rows of five. So we have uh, two, three, and I just broke that. So I'm going to replace that block. There we go. So we have three, four, five, and then our last row here of six of spruce wood planks going across there, which we'll be building on. Um, anyways, that right there will complete layer number, or almost complete the layer. We do have a few last things to touch up on. We're going to place down a tripwire hook above these um, pistons here on both sides, and then we want to go and just place down stone buttons across like that at the back there in the empty spaces. Anyways, that right there will complete layer number three. As you can see, pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy going on here. And uh, with that, that's going to complete this layer. Let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number four. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer. We'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we'll be going ahead and go into our front of our train, and we're going to be, or the front of the car, we're going to place down a row of three of spruce planks here in the very middle. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever facing upwards in the middle, followed by a spruce wood sign to both sides. We then want to take our green terracotta, place down one and two blocks to the side, and one and two blocks to the side, followed by a stone button uh, on the corner block on the on these two sides, like that. After that's done, we're going to take our uh, green terracotta, we're going to go ahead and go one block back on both sides, followed by a dark oak wood slab. We're going to go ahead and then place down a green terracotta block, and then again a dark oak wood slab on both sides. We then want to place down a row of one, two, and three. Green terracotta block, black. Same thing over here, one, two, and three. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak slab again, both sides. Green terracotta block, both sides. Dark oak slab, both sides. And then a row of three of green terracotta across. We're going to go and take stone buttons, place them down on uh, these green terracotta blocks. Like so. So skipping this block here. And this middle block, and we're going to go ahead and go over here and do the same thing. So just like that. Once we have uh, that all done, uh, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some black concrete. 
And the best thing to do is if you do not plan on having this open um, in this car, we can go just fill this in with some uh, black concrete, just like this. And I always like to kind of fill in my builds to make them a little bit more solid. So I'm just going to take some green terracotta. And this is completely unnecessary, but we'll just go ahead and fill this in here as it uh, feels a little bit nicer for myself personally. Makes the build a little bit more sturdy, I think. Um, and we have basically these little viewports um, theoretically, that would be on the sides of the car. Anyways, with that all finished, uh, we're going to go ahead and come back to this section here, and we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood trapdoors, and we're going to go ahead and take spruce wood trapdoors and wrap them around the um, cart, or the basically the cart here, just like this. So it's going to go all the way around here, creating a nice uh, perimeter around the back of the train, and we're also going to take some spruce wood signs, and this is going to take a little bit of time, but we're going to take spruce wood signs and basically wrap them around the um, spruce wood trap doors so it's gonna go all ahead and go all the way around and again like I said a little bit of a tedious task here but we are on our last side and coming down to the side here almost there and get to this point right here um, I also want to say we have access to, isn't there barrels now in the game? Um, we can actually see about even putting barrels in, in here on their side, if that's actually possible. And you can even uh, maybe put barrels in for this, so if we can go ahead and maybe get them rotated like this. Uh, barrels actually would not look too shabby for this if you really want, so you could if you uh, want to put uh, some barrels in here, kind of have a nice texture uh, for the ground. I'm going to go and swap this out because I think this actually looks pretty good. I didn't think about that and then looking at the spruce wood trap doors, I kind of like the, uh, I kind of think this matches the texture a little bit. So um, yeah, it kind of offers a little unique design there on the back. I'll, 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 I'll I dig it. We'll go with that. Uh, but anyways, going ahead and continue on. We're going to place down a, a row of three of uh, green terracotta blocks followed by a stone bun on these two blocks there to the side. We then want to go ahead and place down uh, a row of five, a green terracotta across, followed by a second row of five, and then a third row of five, and then a row of three, like that, to go ahead and wrap that off there for the end there. Anyways, that right there will do it for uh, layer number three, or sorry, my, my bad, layer number four. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer number five, to go ahead and begin with, on the front here, we're going to go ahead and take our spruce wood planks, place down... Uh, row three across, followed by wooden signs going up on both sides, and a lever on the middle spruce wood plank like that flick downwards. We then want to place down two green terracotta blocks to both ends, followed by two stone buttons here wrapped around the corners. We're then going to take our green terracotta blocks and run a long row back, so we're going to go ahead and go from this block back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven blocks back, and we're going to be taking some stone buttons and running more along these sides here of all uh, these green terracotta blocks and same thing over here Just like this running back all the way to this point and we're gonna take our stone buttons and wrap them around here Just like this So just like we did before and then across the back here just a row of seven to close this box off And we're gonna have stone buttons here in the corners there as well um, Also this middle space here again, like I said I like to fill the space in so we can go and fill this in with green terracotta again not completely necessary, but um, it is an option for you guys if you do want to, uh, you know, fill this all fill this all in to uh, kind of keep the build a little bit more solid. And you have that space all filled in just like that. Uh, come back to this section here for the turret. Uh, we're just going to place down a, another set of blocks going upwards like this on all around. And so you just get an air bo box built up like this. We're going to place down stone buttons here on the blocks here. These rows of three on the sides here wrapping all the way around just like that. Anyways, that right there will complete layer uh, number four, and with that, or some, yeah, is that layer number four? One, two, three, four, actually talking about layer number five. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer number six. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer number six, we're going to start off by placing down a row of five of green terracotta across the front here like this, and we then want to place down a zombie head coming off the middle block, followed by two stone buttons, two bow fens. We're going to go and then take our dark oak wood slabs and we're gonna go ahead and go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh dark oak wood slabs back and same thing over here one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten 
<clears throat> and the space in between them, we're just going to fill in with uh, rows of five of green terracotta. So we're just going to fill this in completely. Just like that, back to this point. Uh, we then want to place down two rows of seven of green terracotta across. So one and two. And then we're going to take stone buttons and place them down on the sides here of these blocks and also these two uh, side faces as well. So just like this, wrapped around like there for some detailing. We get to this point right here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block in the middle, mossy cobblestone wall to both sides. We're going to place down three rows of three of green terracotta, a mossy cobblestone wall, green terracotta block, mossy cobblestone wall, and a stone button on this green terracotta block. Same thing over here, like this, stone button, and same thing over here as well, just like that. And uh, with that all finished there, that is going to uh, wrap up layer number six. With that, we're going to move into our, yeah, we'll move into our last final layers, which will basically be layers seven, um, eight, nine, and uh, I believe ten. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers. All right, guys, go ahead and move into our last final layers. We have layers seven through ten. For these layers, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to be going ahead and start at the front of the car. We're going to place down a... Uh, row three of dark liquid slabs across the middle, followed by a second row three directly behind it. We then want to place down a green, green terracotta block in the middle here, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both ends, and then a narrow row three of green terracotta going across. Once that's done, we're going to place down a green terracotta block again in the middle, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides like that. After that's all finished, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark liquid or row of three of dark liquid signs going across here, and same thing over here, a row of three. Just like that. After that's all done, we're going to take our darker slabs, place down a row three across here again. And we then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall here in the middle. Dark oak wood slab to both sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair going back from the mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a dark oak wood slab to both ends. We then want to place down a green terracotta block right behind the stair, followed by a stair to both sides of this green terracotta block. And then a green terracotta block coming off this one, and a dark liquid slab again to both sides. On top of this mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a dark liquid slab. On top of this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark liquid slab. We then want to take zombie heads, and on top of these three stairs that are toward the front, we're going to be placing down zombie heads around them like that. And on top of this stair, we're going to place down a uh, mossy cobblestone wall. And going up from this, we're going to place down a dark liquid fence. Uh, post followed by a zombie head here on top for like a little periscope. Uh, again, then going back up to this section here, we're going to go and place down another row of this kind of going upwards. So we have our five green terracotta blocks, mossy cobblestone walls here in the corners, and everything like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, end rod and we're going to place down an end rod and come off this green terracotta block going forward. And then to the right side here, we're going to place down a uh, wooden sign like this. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and also a uh, black concrete block. And we're going to go ahead and build a little viewport here on the gun itself so that um, the gunner can actually see out of the turret theoretically. And then we're going to place down a dark liquid slab on the middle block. And then we're just going to go ahead and take some zombie heads and wrap them around these uh, green concrete blocks just to go ahead and kind of create a little bit more of a domed surface to this turret. And that right there will complete that turret. Going ahead and moving back here to this section, we're going to go and place down a row of two of dark oak slabs here to both sides. And we then just want to take our green terracotta and place down two rows of five going across here to fill in the space in the middle here. We're going to go and take some stone buttons and on top of these five blocks, we're just going to take stone buttons and run them across like this. Same thing over here. And we can also place down a stone button here on the side of the blocks here like that. And same thing here uh, on the back as well. With uh, that all done there, we're going to go ahead and focus in on our turret here on the rear. So for this, real simply, we're going to go and take mossy cobblestone walls, place down a row of three across, row of three, row of three, and a row of three here also. And then the middle space here, we're just going to make a three by three square of green terracotta, just filling that whole space in like that. After that's all done, uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to take our sprucer planks, place down a row of three like this, and a second row of three. Going to the sides, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair, followed by a dark oak wood upside down corner stair, and same thing on the back here, dark oak wood upside down stair in the middle, corner stair to both sides, dark oak wood upside down stair, dark oak wood upside down corner stair. Um, then we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of three across like this, 
upside down dark oak stair here, come off this one, corner stair, middle stair, middle upside down stair, and upside down corner stair to both sides. And actually, my bad, this middle stair right here, we're actually going to swap out for a um, empty space, and we're actually going to have two uh, dark oak stairs like that going toward the back there. Now, in the middle space here, we're going to go ahead and replace this green terracotta block with an anvil. And coming off the anvil itself, we're going to be placing down a row of one, two, and three end rods going toward the back with a wither skeleton skull on the end here for our 20 millimeter auto cannon there. On the very top here, uh, we want to go ahead and take our green carpet. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five green carpet. And same thing over here, one, two, three, four, five. And then row three across the back here. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a spruce wood wooden trap door. Place it down on top of this, um, top of the anvil. And then for the top hatch up here, uh, very simply, we're going to place down stone buttons here on the sides. And then two levers facing in toward each other like that for the top there. And we're going to close that wooden trap door if it decides to go ahead and open. And anyways, once you have that all complete, that will complete uh, car number two for our um, Zoomerit's armored train. Basically the uh, machine gun um, car. Uh, overall, really cool design for it. Came out really nice and just a uh, real nice, simplistic um, car that you know definitely adds a lot of firepower to this train. So again, if you haven't already, feel free to look for the uh, locomotive so that you can go ahead and attach it to to give this um, you know a little bit more realism here. And uh, we start to have a little bit of an armored train starting to get accomplished. So uh, make sure to check out that other tutorial and check out the other parts for the rear car and also what would be the front car um, to go ahead and build. Um, anyways, that's going to complete this tutorial. If you end up, if you do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being from a sign of the build, tweet my channel, or this video if it does appear on any social media sites. And as always, you guys give me proper credit for the build. Your freeze if ever projects you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build and um, had fun with it, fun with it, and all that stuff. And build yourself a cool little armored train um, diorama or some kind of scene going on. Anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary Two Four, and I'll see you guys next time.